Linux community, welcome to our trade of the week. We will giving some short analysis how we evaluating buy and sell point and as well giving insights in our trades of the last week. All in all, in long position, the buy point should be lower than the sell point to book profits and there are good reasons to buy like huge dips and no rebounds, upcoming news, technical analysis is showing you some good opportunities or when we having a vola or volume breakout, then the market will jump to one side either to the top or to the bottom or as an early investor if a project is not bottomed out yet then you as well can think about a long-term investment into these projects but there are of course also reasons to sell like a stop loss for example when the market is going down we are always securing our profits or our funds with a stop loss or a trailing stop loss to not get shaken or washed out of the market and not tanking huge losses as well when indicators or technical analysis is showing a trend change to come you as well can evaluate if you want to sell your positions or when you just feel comfortable with the profits you as well just can book profits due to only realized profits are real profits often when we're touching resistance levels we can see that the market will have a step back and will go down a little so as well there you can evaluate if you want to close the position all in all there are no golden rules for buying or selling these are just a few options i wanted to show you if you want to evaluate as well positions on your own now taking a look on the trades of the last week then we can see that last week we saw a crypto market that was some up and downs and as a result most cryptocurrencies made slight gains over the week but on average we saw a quiet trading week where the market stabilized mo once more as a result we focused on intraday trades like trades that are closed within a day and bought back position in bitcoin so at this moment we held bitcoin with around 10 percent profit and sold litecoin and stellar lumens with intraday trade with five and three percent profits and if we're now taking a look, for example, on the Litecoin trade, what we can see in the one hour chart is the following thing. We saw that the market in Litecoin was quite high volatile. So basically we saw within a few hours movements of around 7% and saw that this as well is having some volatility issues to not be involved in the market. But after this high volatile market we saw a sideways movement in litecoin for some time and we saw a sideways movement in litecoin for around one and a half days and we used simple indicators to analyze these markets so we used the rsi and the bullying bonds as well as the sideways movement and some more and more getting squeezed bullying bonds to evaluate the trades and what you can see is that we always had these dips to the downside in each candle and as one candle broke the Bollinger Bonds a little. We went in into this trade and then as we had a positive volume, we had a momentum in the RSI and then we broke the Bollinger Bonds to the top as well as an indicator that sooner or later the market will come down a little. We sold this position within a few hours to book our profits in Litecoin. Stellar Lumens was quite interesting trade. Due to what we can see over here is that we had a dip in Stellar Lumens a few days before with a build of support and then we just went strongly upwards from these support levels. And afterwards, after this strong upward trend, the market went more than two and a half days nearly sideways, but sideways with quite a positive momentum. We had one and two dips, but all in all, this sideways movement was still an upwards trend. And as well as the Bullinger bond got very very harshly squeezed we needed a break out to the top or to the down and due to like in litecoin as we saw that the momentum was positive the overall situation was quite good we invested over here in a low position to then gaining the upwards movement in this upwards movement we then saw that after just a few hours the Bollinger bonds closed a few candles above the Bollinger bonds and then as well we sold the position to secure our profits due to you afterwards the market came down a little had one next upswing and then just broke down huge again so over here this week we did not sell the position on the peak but at all we just closed them profitable to realize profits last but not least let us talk about bitcoin and what we can see over here is simply easy so basically bitcoin just dipped two times below 6k again within the last days so we thought that 
around 6k seems to be a strong support for now and at the market then just touch this support line again below 6k and saw a huge upward movement afterwards we invested at around 6.1k in this market so we had an upswing that we could have used from around 13 or 12 percent to the top but of course due to we had a trailing stop loss and the market went quite long sideways we stayed in this market and traded our stop loss to the top and as then followed by this the market broke down a little our stop loss got triggered at around 8.5 percent profits so that we use this markets to have the chance of going higher and as well booking good profits afterwards how you can see the market broke down the positive signs went out of the market again we as well broke down below 6k and now getting up a little with now holding leveled at around 6.3k so all in all what i wanted to show you here is that the intraday trade with quite easy indicators worked quite good in a week and that bitcoin as well saw the dips below 6k and then bounced back so we use this bounce back to then evaluate good positions and all i hope you liked this video if you do so i would love it if you could like share or comment this video and we will hear us next time when it comes to weekly trade of the week provided by t-rocks